So in here, we're trying to fix this motion that is not a ping pong. We want the ping pong action instead. So we have to change a few things up here. All right. So for example, let me, uh, let me create a variable at the top here called mode, and I'm going to set it to true. Okay, so mod is equal to true. So instead of uh, velocity just being plus plus, we want it to either increase or reduce uh, depending on uh, what's going on. Okay, so we're going to say if mod, so here we're checking if the mod is true. So if mod is like saying if mod is true, and then we'll put an else statement here and some two more brackets like so. Okay, so if the mode is true, increase like that, do the plus plus thing. But if the mode is false, do the minus thing like so. Okay, so if mode is true, do that. If mode is false, do that. And then what we can do here, instead of uh, multiplying it by negative, we can simply say mod is equal to not mod, like that. So what this actually means is, if mod is true, because not is the opposite, so if mod is true, it's going to make mod false. If mod is false, it's going to make it true. All right, so, I think that actually does it. Let me see if it works. So let's open this up, close that, open it again, and let's try that now. Okay, I think it's actually working. So let me put a large number so we can see it. Oh, okay, there we go. So we are getting our ping pong action, which is uh, pretty cool. Okay, so we can have another control for speed, but uh, this is not a tutorial on making a plugin like this it's about envelopes so let's skip right to creating an envelope because the number here is 30 and we can't if we change it it changes for all frames so for example if i put 20 it changes for all frames but we want to be able to animate this number from 0 to 120 somewhere there okay so let's create a button that will allow us to open the, the envelope. So we can simply do that by adding a button here. I'm just going to say my button. That's what I'll call it. I'm going to say CTL button. The label will be E. And then we need to give it a width. I'll say the width is maybe 50 pixels and then comma, and then we have to put the, the function that will be called when we click that. So I'll just say button underscore clicked for lack of something better. Now, if we don't create this function, it will throw an error. So let's do that just now. Let's say button clicked and just like that. Ready to put something in there. Okay, so we are good to go. Let me come back here and open. Let's see what has changed. And there we go. We have an E now. I think uh, it's too wide. So let me just put uh, maybe 30 or 25, something like that. Okay. So that's the default value there. And we can, so what I want is for us to be able to click this value and then create an E right there. Okay. So first of all, what we need to do is when the user clicks that thing, we have to check if the uh, the graph or the channel that we want to create actually exists. If it doesn't, then we create a new one. So if we go to graph editor here, you see that uh, there are envelopes for all these things. So we want to be able to create our very own after this one right here. So we're going to give it a name, whatever name we'll give it. Uh, let's say, Let's create a name. So we're going to say env. It's an envelope we're creating. So I'm going to abbreviate it as env is equal to, okay. 
So let's check first if it exists. So to do that, we'll say channel group, channel group, and let's uh, give it a name. So what name will we give it? Uh, we'll just say my envelope, just like everything else, like that. And then we're going to confirm if it exists. So let's ask if it doesn't exist. If not env, like so, then let's create it. Create the envelope. So to create the, an envelope is uh, not difficult. So what we need to do is just say env is equal to All right, env is equal to envelope with a capital, open bracket, something like that. So let me just call it, uh, oh no, I think I can leave it right there. That's, that's good enough. Or oh, let me call this one my envelope because this one is a channel group. So let me just say channel short for channel group like that chq because what's happening here is this let me explain this a little bit if i go to the graph editor you see there is no and then there is position x y and z so these are envelopes in here however they need to be inside a channel group which is this one right here the no itself it's the same with the camera. Camera is a channel group, and then there are several channels in there. So what we're creating now is a channel like position X, but it needs to be inside a channel group. So that's why we are looking for the channel group first. If it doesn't exist, which means even the contents do not exist. So channel group is equal to, that will be the channel group name. And then if the channel group doesn't exist, Let's create our envelopes. So to create an envelope, you need three things. You need, uh, first of all, the name of the envelope, what you're going to name it. So what will I name it? I'm going to uh, say distance. That's what I'll name it. And then I need to uh, give it a type because there are three types of, uh, there are three types of envelopes. There's one called uh, distance, uh, there's um, percent, and then there's, uh, what's the other one? Let me go back here. So if you see position X is a distance type because it's in meters. If you go to rotation, this one is in degrees, so it's an angle type, and scale is simply a number. So these are the types here. So there's uh, the distance, there's the distance and there's um, angle, actually. And then there's a uh, number. So now there, these are in form of an integer. There's one, two, you can either put one, two, or three, or four. Now, uh, in case those, those numbers are not easy to remember. So what you could add instead is Chan and then underscore you, uh, in this case, what we want is to be able to tell the distance. So we're going to put distance like this. So Chan distance. And then uh, otherwise we'd use Chan angle or Chan, uh, I keep forgetting the other one again. All right, then the last thing you do is you add the channel group. So of course we want it to be this because that's what we were looking for. So I'm going to paste it there. All right, so just like that, uh, we are good to go. Now, the problem here is, one more problem is, for as long as this function is running, this envelope will be created, and then it will serve its purpose, and as soon as this function exits, it's going to disappear again. So we can see that if I click info here and just say here, something like that, so the reason I'm adding this info is so that when it gets here, it can pause so that we can get to see if that actually exists. And then after this, it's going to disappear. So let me come back here. Let's keep the 
graph editor on while we do this so let me reload and then now if i hit e watch this space here and you're going to see this my envelope there has been created but as soon as i hit ok it disappears so this is how it's actually set now to make it persist what we do is we say my env dot you guessed it persist that's persist right persist mm. all right so it's going to persist now if you don't want it to persist uh, you just put false in here false like that this is how you delete an envelope just say persist equal to false normally persist is true however if you leave it empty like that it will assume the value you've put there is true okay so once we do this our envelope will stick around so uh, if I come back here now before we go uh, back that side we need to grab uh, that again so we're going to set this back to that so channel group we tried if it's not there create it and then grab a handle so we can use this part of it okay and then we're going to come here and do something else now so let's come back here and see if everything has worked out fine let me remove and then uh, click and then hit the E and there we go so we have an envelope here my envelope if I come down here I'll see this distance and if I double click you see there's an envelope here with a distance in meters so if I go here I can simply add a key which I can move around as we normally do with uh, every envelope now it didn't automatically create a key at the beginning there so let me create a key with a value of um, let's give it a default value which is five I think is our default default value is it or let me just use one something like that now they are working together so let me move this one here as well next key and let me set another value here all right so now you can see that uh, the value changes over time as we normally do okay so this is uh, well and good so now how do we actually attach it to our item so first of all if you had noticed when it was created here it didn't have a key at the beginning so let's put that key there before we do anything else so if we have created it just now let's add a key so we say add a key and we're going to say channel group uh, channel group here we have to grab the envelope here oh let me just say my channel here that's short for channel or let me just write the whole thing is equal to chg which is the channel group dot first channel so there's only one channel in this channel group so that very first channel is that what we are grabbing here okay so we should be able to do this to grab this channel here even if this didn't exist so let's also put this on the else statement like that okay however in here we have to add a key so I'm going to say my channel this channel that we've grabbed dot create key now we need two things uh, the value and the time okay so we want to create uh, a key of value 1 because that's the default value and then the time is 0 at key frame 0 all right so that works out pretty well so let's recap a little bit so we check for the channel group if the channel group does not exist we create it and then we create the first keyframe however if the channel group exists 
we don't create any of this we simply grab the my channel uh, the first channel and put it in there ready for action okay so let me come back here let me reload this particular scene so that i remove that actually the problem is the existing envelope will not be removed it persists so i'm still going to find it right there all right so this is working out very well now in the next video we are going to see how to read from this particular channel i'll see you in the next video